vlog is back, guys. Hope you're well. Huge day today. Had a really good start to the morning. Got out for a surf, went and grabbed a coffee. I find that I'm a whole lot more productive and motivated if I get out for a surf or I go to the gym and then get a coffee afterwards. And that was certainly the case today. We're back home now. It's 8.30 a.m. I don't need to go to the post office today. It is a Tuesday. But the first thing I like to do is I like to look out the overnight sales so it makes my job easier tomorrow when I do need to do the post. So first job that we're gonna to do today is going and getting the overnight sales. I'll show you what they were and then we'll keep charging on with what should be a pretty jam-packed day. So let's do it. There is the overnight sales. I've done all right yesterday. I think there was about $350 worth of sales in total. Uh, obviously, the footy boots are going really well for me. Uh, this time of year, they're selling pretty fast. This was a retail arbitrage, um, $110. I paid $50 in the ASIC store. Um, got rid of a hat, pretty cheap, 10 bucks for the hat. Thought, why not? Um, crazy DVD. I'll talk more about that one on Sunday. And then uh, Monsters High, pretty popular. And then I got rid of that as well on a best offer for $30, um, as you would have seen. But this one as well, finally the Anthony Davis Pelicans jersey, 50 bucks for that, can't complain. So um, all in all, not too bad of a start to the week. But what I need to do now is I need to list 15 items. So I've looked out from the night before, those 15 items right there. So we're gonna get into it. I'm actually gonna set the timer today. I'm curious, how, many, how long does it take to list 15 items? We'll see how we go. So not too bad there guys, I've been able to wrap up my 15 listings in an hour 45. So I think that works out to about seven minutes of listing, which I don't, I don't think that's too slow. I think that's pretty efficient. Um, I, today I was doing men's pants and shoes. I'm always a little bit quicker when I'm listing shoes. I, I just think they're a pretty easy item to list. Um, and I do them all sort of per item. So I'll take all my photos, do the item description, and then get the item listed and then move on to the next one, take the new photos, etc. So I don't do any batching or anything like that. It's always just very much individualized, um, but it's just work, what works for me, I guess. I do realize though that I do actually need to get a few more items. I am quite low on inventory. So I'm just out now about to jump into uh, a couple of thrift stores right near my place. And I'm really hoping that I can find some cool stuff because I do need it for tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna go and do that now. So hopefully I can find some cool stuff and if I do, I'll let you know about it.
Guys, just a crazy run in the thrift. I've gone to two stores. I've just sort of jam-packed that little clip there for you of both stores. Um, but geez, we've come away with some items. I've spent $67. I don't know exactly how many items I have here. But my God, it's probably, look, we're looking at maybe $2 an item, just something ridiculous like that. It's absolutely crazy. I'll start with these Vans shoes that are almost in like new condition. This had a $3 tag on it. Uh, I couldn't say no to that. They're gonna go on to sell for about 40 bucks. It's generally what I get for my Vans shoes. I found another pair of high tops Vans as well. Again, these are in great condition. Don't need too much of a clean. And I reckon I'm gonna go ahead and get those for 40, 45 dollars as well. And I've paid again, just three bucks. Um, I found the ASIC shoes as well. I think these are maybe, I'm not 100% sure, maybe some hockey shoes. Um, I've got to do a bit of research into these. These, the Lethal Elite Sixes. Uh, they're a US seven and a half, so I still think they're gonna go on to sell pretty well. And again, only three dollars. I can't believe the cost of some of these items. Um, a really good brand here, guys. Uh, Kiss Chasey. I've been able to find Kiss Chasey. K S C Y. Uh, do look out for it. It goes on to sell well. It's a Melbourne-based brand uh, here in Australia. I think I've paid three dollars for those. Found another really good brand that I do look for. The brand is Insight, as you can see there. Look, I talk about the Insight brand quite a bit. It does go on to sell quite well as well. I found a pair of shorts here. Uh, men's shorts are in really good condition. Nothing wrong with them. And again, a couple of bucks for those. Uh, I found a Nordica shirt. I found a Tommy Hilfiger shirt and I found a pair of Nike sort of hiking shorts as well. Now, every single one of those items was either two or $3 each. So ridiculous pricing. But then I stumbled across this. And I don't know, the comps will tell you as I throw them up here as I always do, but this Xbox 360 steering wheel and accelerator pad came to $10. So I've paid $5 for each item. And I reckon the comps are gonna be talking pretty high here. So that one's probably the pick of the day. Absolutely stoked when I saw that. They said that it had only just hit the shelf and I was taking it off and taking it away. So really happy with that one. That was just a cool find. I jumped into the next thrift store and I found something that I've really wanted to find for a while because I know it's worth. And it was this one here, the Scooby-Doo, uh, the mystery machine. Scooby-Doo mystery machine. So wrap with this. This is in great condition, rolls fine. This all opens up, I won't do it now, but this basically splits open. There's a heap of stuff inside that you can play with. Um, some comps that I saw in there were around the $35 plus postage. I paid $3 for it in this op shop. So just a huge get there with the mystery machine. Um, also found as well uh, a Ninja Turtle. And the Ninja Turtles actually go on to sell for quite a few. They're pretty popular. And when you can get them in a large size like this guy, I think he's gonna go on to sell for about 25 to 30 bucks. I've paid $4 for him in this op shop that I've just come out of so uh, really cool there uh, a couple of toys that I probably don't normally buy obviously the Xbox 360 steering wheel just crazy uh, and then some clothes at a very cheap price two to three dollars I've paid sixty seven dollars for everything there were a couple of other items in here nothing's you know nothing to rave about but just a couple of sort of items that I need to have to kind of top up the store um, so we're looking comfortably at, at 15 items there that I can go on to sell in tomorrow's listing day so really happy with that um, got everything that I need for tomorrow Obviously, Thursday is a huge trip to the thrift day, so I'm going to have more inventory coming then. Uh, so this is just the top up I needed. I'm super stoked with everything I've got. A lot of money made, a lot of profit made. So what more can you ask for, I guess? Two thrift shops, 30 minutes, and a stack of profit. <laughs> home now guys i've just itemized everything that i bought at the thrift shop on the computer uh wrote everything out and i also sat down for a bit of lunch and i worked on youtube and instagram growth um so i do that for one hour every single day just so happened that lunchtime today was the best time to be working on it normally i like to get it done in the morning next thing that i've got to do is this buffet table i've just picked it up off facebook marketplace i've paid just 50 bucks for it it was actually a bulk deal i was able to get this one as well the entertainment unit in the very same range for another 50 dollars so both of these units have cost me a hundred bucks and I have resold them in the past for 175. So I'm hoping there's nothing different. They're both gonna sell for 175. I'll make $250 worth of profit, but I do need to give it a really good clean. And I've got my cleaning stuff here, got my bucket of water with sugar soap. So hopefully I can give this one a really good clean now, get it listed and you never know, it might sell today.
So very quickly, guys, I get a lot of questions around how do I do my post for DVDs, books, um, what satchels do I use? First of all, I've bought from Australia Post these flat rate satchels, um, size small. I pretty much ship in size small. This is what they look like. That cost me uh, $7.20 on an Australia Post My Business Plan Band 4 level. Um, I bought these as a pack of 100 for 15 cents each. Uh, from Australia Post so I can do it at home and then just take it away to the post office and pay for whatever level it needs to be at for depending on where it gets sent to. Uh, and then these as well, I use these for DVDs and video games. These are just the um, domestic letters with tracking, the slightly larger envelope. Um, I rip that off the tracking number there, put it on the back. You can tear that off and keep it. And then the envelope goes anywhere around the country for $4.50. So, um, I buy those in packs of 10 uh, from the post office and that costs me $45 at a time. Uh, once I've burnt through, I'm generally once a week, I'm buying another pack of 10. Um, and then the satchels have worked out pretty well, just bulk buying 100 uh, satchels to do at home and, uh, and then just take them into the post office three times a week. So anything that's sort of like hard goods, I'll go to Bunnings and get a free box um, and then check courier pricing and also Australia Post pricing to get the best rate. Um, but really that's kind of a quick snapshot on how I'm doing my post. I know that I could be super, I guess, way more efficient, uh, which is why I haven't put out too much postage videos on YouTube. But once I've got it streamlined and I've got it to the most cost-effective way, then I'll, I'll put some out, uh, you know, some videos out around it. Just crazy guys, we've been able to sell that buffet table. I haven't been able to even show you the finished product before it's sold. I'm literally talking 10 minutes, this thing has sold. And this is why I talk about furniture and selling furniture on Facebook Marketplace because the sales are really fast. I was only literally listed it for a couple of minutes and it was gone. I bought it for $50 yesterday. I gave it a quick clean. The clean took no, no more than about an hour and then I've moved it for $175. I do free delivery and that definitely helps, but it's all about the presentation. And as you'll see here, this is what the listing looked like and this is what the final photos looked like. And I think those little keys, those little bits and pieces that go really along the way to getting the job done is so, so crucial. Um, and yeah, I'm just stoked to get this one done and, really happy to pocket $125 worth of profit in a very, very fast space of time. So I'm gonna go and deliver this one now and fingers crossed, we can sell the other one. One hundred and seventy-five dollars. That's how it's done, guys. And then the very last thing that I have to do today is edit this video that you're about to see. I always shoot these vlogs and then upload them on the very same day. It ends up being a very long day, but I think it's the only way I'm gonna get these videos out. Otherwise, I'd be just forever falling behind and I figured just get it done while it's fresh in your mind and you've just shot it. So this will be out in just a second, uh, another Tuesday done. It's just started to rain outside too. So luckily we've got everything done today because it was a super productive day in the end. I hope you've enjoyed it. Look forward to catching you in the next one. Uh, I might continue with these vlogs every Tuesday because they are a bit of fun to make. Uh, we'll do a trip to the thrift on Thursday. I'm that excited for the next trip to the thrift. We'll see you then. Thanks for tuning into this one.